uh, good day to uh, welding students. So welcome to our second quarter. And this is our lesson for the first week on SMAO 10. So again, SMAO represent uh, uh, shielded metal arc welding. So we have here the quarter two about our lesson in week one. So our lesson is about the uh, welding symbols in fillet weld. So again, fillet weld is a type of weld in a cross-sectional shape of a triangle. So the fillet weld is indicated by a triangle place in the reference line uh, of the welding symbol. So the vertical, vertical member of the fillet weld is always placed to the left. So fillet weld specification may require a welding symbols with dimensions, notes and prints, and graphic representation as shown in figure 11. So we have here uh, symbols for a simple fillet weld. We have the dimension, one fourth, and the upside down triangle uh, that represent the wheel. So you have here the lock joint, you have two plates there, the upper uh, part, which is part five, and the lower part is part six. So the actual weld will be look like this. So you have the dim two dimension uh, going up in horizontal, uh, one fourth no, uh, in both ways. So we have here the second symbol. You have the arrow. Remember the arrow side is down below and the other side is up. So you have here the arrow as symbolizes the boundary from the other side and the arrow side. So you have two triangles there and that represent two kinds of weld. So the actual weld will be look like this now. Okay? So you have two welds both sides of the lap joint and there is a specific dimension. So we have here the third drawing which is uh, a little bit elaborated so you have the reference line 3 uh, over 8 by 1 fourth and that's the dimension of that uh, weld uh, again on the arrow side and you have here the leg 3 over 8 leg on part 6 so here the actual weld will be look like this now so you have the number 5 and number 6 and the dimension 3 8 and you have dimension 1 fourth Okay, so that's uh, what looks like on the symbol. Fillet weld symbols uh, is very important in the job because it's a skill that its wielder should have so, so that you can interpret your welding drawing, what you're going to do, your project plan. So w the next one in uh, symbols is all about the world all around symbols. The world around symbols is represented by that circle. Supplementary symbol indicated by a circle at the intersection of the arrow and reference line. So where the arrow and reference lines meet, that's where the all-around symbol is. You have the circle there, which specify the weld extends completely around the joint. So changes in the direction of the weld require multiple arrows and welding symbols to indicate the location of the weld. Multiple arrows on the weld symbols are not required if the weld all-around symbol can be used. So the actual Welds will be look, look like, like this now. In the figure letter H, uh, you're going to weld around that figure. So this is a three-dimension picture of that weld. Okay. Uh, another weld that we are going to discuss is the intermittent fillet weld. So what is intermittent fillet weld? Intermittent fillet welds are short section fillet welds applied at specific intervals on the weld parts. So it's not a continuous weld, but it's only intermittent, uh, more on like a, a staggered. So you weld, and then another interval, and you weld again. So intermittent fillet welds are indicated in the welding symbol by length and pits. So you have the length from weld to another weld, and the pits from the center of the weld to the center of another weld. So that's what we call pits. So the length specified is the length of each weld section applied. The pits specified is the center of each weld section. So for example, 
an intermittent fillet weld with dimension of 8 to 12 specify that 8 inches well section are to be centered on 12 intervals so the figure below shows sample of intermittent weld so we have here now uh, the intermittent uh, fillet weld so you have the fillet weld here the one half then fillet weld and then you have 8 to 12 so this is now uh, the actual uh, weld looks like so you have here the 8 dimension of the weld and from the center to the center of the weld is called pitch that is 12 okay so another uh, intermittent fillet weld is the chain intermittent fillet weld uh, are intermittent fillet weld that have the same specified length and pitch so they are the same same specified length and pitch applied to both sides of the wheel okay so chain intermittent fillet welds are spaced symmetrically unless otherwise noted on the print so they are symmetrically uh, spaced so same so you notice you have the arrow side uh, one half uh, 8 to 12 and then on the other side one half 8 to 12 uh, we have here uh, the actual wheel what it looks like so yeah, the upper and the lower are the same with the interval are the same okay so we have here the next intermittent fillet weld is the staggered so the staggered intermittent fillet weld are intermittent fillet welds that have staggered pits and are applied to both sides of the weld joint so staggered intermittent fillet welds are indicated on the welding symbol by a double fillet weld symbol placed on uh, out of alignment on reference line the welding symbol so you see out of alignment uh, the leg and pits for staggered intermittent fillet weld are indicated the same way as intermittent fillet weld so here is the symbol so you see uh, on the arrow side you have one half and then you have the fillet symbol and 8 to 12 and the other side you have one half the fillet symbol and 8 to 12 so you notice uh, it's not perpendicular that they are uh, had some differences in placing so the actual weld will be look like this so you have here uh, 8 and then you have spacing 12 on, on, on below and you have another on the upper part so they are staggered we call that staggered okay intermittent and continuous fillet weld uh, when applied in the same side of the weld part requires separate welding symbol so when you have intermittent continuous fillet weld and you have intermittent fillet weld so you have here uh, now the drawing and the actual weld will be look like this so remember the intermittent is on the upper part and the continuous is on the lower part and they have their uh, designated measurement so you have here the actual uh, application on the fillet weld welding okay so you can do your test one you are going to draw and label the following please don't forget your name uh, number one weld all around symbol uh, you are going to draw and label intermittent fillet weld chain intermittent fillet welds staggered intermittent fillet welds intermittent and continuous fillet weld okay, and don't forget your parents to sign on your paper okay let's move on to the weld contour and weld finish so weld contour is the cross-sectional shape of the completed weld face meaning it's the the weld face uh, of the weld you remember in quarter one we're talking about the profile of the weld part of that profile is the weld face so weld finish is the method used to achieve the surface finish for example a flat contour is obtained by grinding weld so it's more on the finished weld so after you weld you are going to uh, apply uh, what is the uh, what it looks like the uh, finished weld so we have here the fillet on the other side you have flat contour and you have the convex contour you see uh, another one is the flat by machining and convex by machining the next one is flat by grinding and convex by grinding so flat by chipping and convex by chipping here didn't mention about that you can also do uh, in finish world you have the flat finish you have the convex finish and you have the concave finish okay concave finish okay so uh, you can do your task too please write your name uh, section and uh, you can draw the world contour and world finish as we discussed about okay 
All right, so let's move on the welding symbols. Uh, well, about the definition, simple definition. So you have the location of elements, uh, location significant of arrow, references, and dimension. So the location of elements, the elements of a welding symbol have standard location with respect to each other. So you cannot just put uh, the symbols anywhere because there is a standard location where to put the symbols. Okay. Then the next one is the location of significant arrow. So the arrow element, the welding symbol is conjunction with the reference line determines the arrow side and the other side of a wheel. So you remember the reference line, it's the horizontal line, and the arrow side uh, could be put on either on the side or on the either on the left side. Okay. So the symbol depicting an arrow side well is always placed below the reference line. Okay. And the arrow side is always closest to the reader when viewed by the bottom of the drawing. So the world symbol depicting other side will displace above. Okay, so you see? So the arrow side is below and the other side is above the reference line, away from the reader. So world on both sides of joints are shown by placing world symbols on both sides of the reference line. Some welds have no arrow or other side significance. However, supplementary symbols used in conjunction with these world symbols we have significance. For example, welding symbols for resistance path and seam welding have no side significance. But GTAO, uh, EBW, or other spot seam welds may have arrow and other side. Okay, the third one is the references. When a specification, process, taste, or other references are needed to clarify a welding symbol, the reference is placed in a cell on a welding symbol. So remember, you have uh, the references. Okay, so you have the arrow, okay. you have the tail, okay. so you have here uh, the letters completed just penetration, CGP may be used in the tail of the arrow to indicate that the complete joint penetration groove weld is required, regardless of the type of weld or joint preparation. So the tail will be omitted in the specification process and reference required to the welding symbol. Okay, the next one is dimension. The dimension is very important now because the weld uh, should have a specific dimension or else your welding had no strength in it. Okay, so dimension of a weld are shown on the same side reference line as the weld symbol. So the size of the weld is shown to the left of the weld symbols and the length of the weld is placed on the right. So you remember that, okay? So uh, to the left weld symbols, the size and the length is on the right. So you have this, if a length is not given, the weld symbols apply to that portion of the joint between abrupt changes the direction of a welding or between specified dimension line. So if a weld symbol is shown on each side of the reference line, dimension are required to be given for each weld even through both welds are identical. Okay? So dimension is very important. You need to observe uh, the dimension. So we have here the two unit systems that could be used. The, the English system, US customary, and the metric system, which is the global standard. So the global standard or ESI, uh, is using the metric system, mm, meters, while the English system is using inches, uh, foot, yard, and so on. So if a weld in a joint is to be intermittent, the length of the increment and the pitch center to center spacing are placed to the right of the symbol. Okay, so we have here the term uh, weld symbol, welding symbol, different meanings. Okay, so weld symbol, welding symbol. A weld symbol indicates a required type of weld while welding symbol includes the weld symbol and supplementary information okay so you get that so we have here <coughs> some of the elements you have the reference line the arrow basic weld symbols the dimension on the other side other data supplementary symbols uh, finish symbol tell specification process and other references okay so you can do your task number three for d3 so i'm going to Write the short definition of the following term, the welding symbol. So you have there, I think, four. You have here, one, location of elements, location significant of arrow, references, dimension, and the international standard of measurement. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the standard drawing okay, in the arrow. So you have here now, remember you have the arrow. Okay, so this is the arrow. Arrow connecting reference line to arrow side member of joint or arrow side of the joint. 
So remember, you have two members, uh, part five and part six. So you have two plates. So that's why it called this uh, member of the joint. Okay. So remember the uh, welder around in the intersection of the arrow and the reference line. So that it is welded around, and you have there the felt weld symbols. Um, you have the with the round symbols, and you have the reference line there uh, on the horizontal lines, and you have the pits, letter P, center to center spacing of welds, and you have the letter L, length of weld, and this one is the other side and other the arrow sides, and you have the letter F for finish symbol, you have the uh, contour symbol and you have letter A for group angle, included angle of counter sink for plug welds and you have letter R for root opening, depth of filling for plug and slot welds. So you have also letter E for group weld size and you have letter S the depth of preparation, size or strength for certain welds and you have the tail, remember specification, process or other references and the telemetered when reference is not used. So here we are here the basic world symbols, little differences. Okay? So this is now what we call the standard location elements of a welding symbol. So you have here the definition there for clarification. Okay? So for uh, task four and five, you will going to draw that uh, location of elements of welding symbols and please specify the parts. I think that's all. And God bless you and thank you very much.